WMX class, Ashley and Jessica have been the main contenders the past few years. Patterson goes after Violet. Side by side they go, they switch places. Me and Jessica, you know, we're, we're both, I think we're both just very, very competitive. We're a lot alike. I've been nipping at their heels, but never kind of got to them before the season's over. And this year, I'm working really hard. I'm pretty excited to be running number one again, and I'm going to try my best again this year to defend my title. I think the sports progress just with the level of competition, and it's something younger girls can look up to now and be, aspire to be. Like every year, there's more and more pro women are joining. They're coming, moving up from the amateur ranks, and they're becoming pro racers. And I look forward, you know, like every new year. It's a lot more commitment now with uh, the racing and the level it's at. There's a lot more pressure. You're not just doing it for yourself anymore. You're doing it for a team and, you know, everybody that's behind that team. People are seeing the value in us and, and helping us out. and. You know, I think that's what's helping the sport continue to grow. And we'll give you a look at the current point standings in this women's motocross class. They race the same day, the same tracks as the guy. Guys, uh, Tara Geiger up to second in the series now. Feilig, your defending champ, uh, crashed a couple weeks ago in Colorado, had to miss the race last weekend in Pennsylvania. So she's got some ground to make up on old JP Money, Jessica Patterson, who's looking for another championship this year, leading the women's points.